guess you're determined to make it through to the end, sir. I guess you're eager to get to Europe and do some good. Today I'll teach you about reinforcements. It's the inevitable rule of war that men get hurt and die. But as a commander, you must stay focused on the big picture and complete your objectives. And for you to be able to do this, your commander will give you access to reinforcements. First off, you need to activate the reinforcement menu. Press the reinforcements button now. Good. Your available reinforcements are shown as points. In the left hand column, you can see the amount available. In the right hand column, show you the amount incoming. The available points are ready for you to use. You can spend them on units and then have these units delivered to the battlefield. The incoming points will be added to your pool of available points over time. Each unit has a point value tied to it. This is the amount it would cost you to order down one such unit. That Bradley IFV, for example, costs 750 reinforcement points and about 3 million taxpayer dollars. If you should lose one in action, those 750 points will be reimbursed to your incoming points pool, and after a while, they will be available to spend again. To start ordering units, you need to place a drop zone marker. The marker indicates where the transport aircraft will drop your units. Click the drop zone button. You're looking at the mega map. From here, you get a detailed overview of the entire battlefield, but it also removes you from the tactical situation on the ground. Right now, the only thing you can do in the mega map is to place your drop zone marker. Well done, sir. I knew you'd have no trouble with this. With the drop zone marker placed, you're ready to order in reinforcements. You now have 2,000 reinforcement points to spend as you see fit. To order in some units, you start by left-clicking the reinforcements button. Left-click on a unit that you wish to purchase. Clicking on a unit multiple times would add multiple units of that kind. To remove a unit, simply right-click on its icon or left-click on the unit icon in the order box below. You can see your current order in the order box along with the total cost of your order. This amount can never exceed the amount of available reinforcement points, so choose wisely. When you've completed your order, you click the deploy button. Do so now. It'll take some time for your reinforcements to arrive since they're being brought in by air. Plan your reinforcement orders accordingly. Superb job, sir. Only one more day until graduation. I'll see you back here tomorrow. Welcome back to the final lesson, sir. Seems you're made of sterner stuff than I first thought. Today, I'll teach you about the most powerful weapon an officer has in his arsenal. No, I'm not talking about what's between your legs, sir. I'm talking about the radio. With the radio, you can call in tactical aids. They encompass everything from reconnaissance flights to artillery barrages and airstrikes. And they'll provide you with a real advantage in a tight spot. As you succeed on the battlefield by killing the enemy and capturing command points, you will receive tactical aid points. These can then be used to call in tactical aids. Today's your lucky day, though, because you will be provided with a steady stream of tactical aid points regardless of your battlefield performance. And to spice things up a bit, I've ordered the I-4 to place some hostile targets for you to practice on. I know you're itching to get started, so don't let me hold you back. Get to it! Good. To deploy a tactical aid, simply left-click the weapon or aid you want, and then left-click in the world where you want it deployed. Copy that. Fire mission received. Zulu Niner out. Reporting minimum damage to target area. Over. Roger. Coordinates received. Tank buster in transit.
Iceman here. I have zero enemy casualties. Roger, Wilco. My laser guided is armed and I'm painting the target. Copy. <laughs> Firing for effect. Zulu Niner out. Laser guided bomb strike completed. Out. Target area has been turned to dust, including hostiles. Copy that. <laughs> Heavy artillery barrage inbound. Understood. Coordinates received. Artillery firing. So you need to plan ahead and analyze the movement of your enemies in order to hit them. Now those targets you just annihilated were stationary, and even a Marine could do that. To be really effective, you need to learn how to hit moving targets. So let's try it again. But this time we'll have moving targets to practice on. Get to it. Copy that. Wolverine is primed and in the air. Roger that. I have enemy tanks on my scope. Over and out. Copy that. Heading towards target coordinates. Iceman out. Copy. Firing for effect. Zulu Niner out. Hostiles in the hot zone of toast. Hunter out. Actual combat can teach you the rest of the skills you need, but I'm sure you will make a fine combat officer, sir. <laughs> 